Hi. The reason why I'm doing this video right now is because of what happened to me in the infertility clinic. I want to say, don't be discouraged when it comes to infertility because you know what? Every embryo deserves a chance. But you create your embryos for yourself and to complete your family. See, what happened to me should not happen to you. See, my third cycle that I had, uh, the, the retrieval that cost me $32,000, the doctor said there was only four embryos and they can't be graded. They weren't good. And he was going to transfer two and, you know. And there's a clinic in New York City, a human reproductive center. I forget the doctor's name. He said, don't give up on those embryos because those embryos could result in a pregnancy. Don't be discouraged. You see, a lot of doctors are in this for the money and they don't care about you. And, you know, they think money is go in your backyard and go pick the, the money off the tree. It doesn't work that way. You know, it's like if your insurance doesn't cover you, what are you going to do? And you have to make sacrifices in your life to get that money. See, that's what I did. I sacrificed. I did everything I could. And... I got what I wanted, but at the same time, I was hurt during the process. My doctor manipulated my cycle, gave my embryos away. The third cycle, you know, most doctors would have just threw it away. But he goes, you know what, we'll transfer two and we'll hope for the best. Like I told him, you better hope and pray I get pregnant because I will sue you. You know, it's like, I paid for it. And right now it's playing out in the courts. But this mess, this video is not about that. This video is about hope. And with two embryos that can't be gra with graded that were transferred, you know, it shouldn't have resulted in a pregnancy. But it did. This is what comes out of that, those two embryos that was transferred. Olivia, give me a juju. Say hi. Say hi. She's a little shy today. Say hi, my princess. Say hi. This is the embryo that couldn't be graded. This is what I got. Don't give up hope. Because you know what? In life, all we have is hope Hi. and this is my little princess that any other clinic would have threw away that embryo they would have discarded that embryo and went for the best embryo that was in the batch and this is what i got out of it so you know what don't give hope don't give up on hope because you know what all we have in life is hope and our prayers and just hold on it will happen for you because you know what your child is waiting for you you know just don't give up on hope because you know what it will happen but you know what what happened to me should have never happened and that's why I'm fighting for justice. I'm fighting for everything. And like I said, Mr. Legault is my only hope right now to get new reforms. And this message is for him too. We need hope that our government is going to actually do something for us. You know, you're a family man. You know, look at your children and say, do you, if they go through IVF, do you want them to go through that, the same pain that I'm going through? Your answer would be no. As a father, you protect your children. And as premier, 
you're supposed to be protecting us. And that's what, exactly what I'm asking you to do. Protect us. And like I say, I'm, this I'm hoping will go viral. I will be going on TikTok today because I didn't have time yesterday. And I will be redirecting them to my video to you. Change is what needed. And you need to protect the children where they don't get kidnapped and stolen as a cell because the law does not protect them. All right, have a wonderful day.